Okay, so I'd say that's dry by now. It's the next day, so we'll take these off here. We're going to do the back here. So I've got to uh, sand this. Make sure it's all flat. Since these blocks go a little bit higher than the actual top, I might need to do something about that. Okay, so I got my blocks shortened down, so now I can sand the top. So I've got a board here that is flat. So I'm going to take this that I know is flat. I'm going to take some 80 grit sandpaper. This uh, has an adhesive back. And I really enjoy this adhesive back sandpaper. A lot of people don't like it, but I like it. trick is to take your pencil and get some marks all over and when your marks are gone you know you've got flat you know you've hit everything at least once okay so this is going to be the back so I'm going to take my back here and lay it down on here, centered. Put a weight on top of it so that it sits. And where my braces overhang, i got to make a mark. marked I want to transfer them over to the sides so we want to notch this out so the braces can so the braces can fit inside. So now that I've got my notches cut out, I need to cut away from the back. I'm going to kind of mark about where I need to cut away. I'm going to try it out. Okay, so now I'm ready to glue this down. Glue down the top. Got my notches cut out. I've got my notches cut out. I've got these cut to where they fit into the notches. Everything fits on here nicely. So, the next step is to glue the top on. Um, and they give you this rubber band to do that with. One thing they don't give you is a bunch of hooks. So, if you're gonna build this, and you're watching this before you start. <laughs> Here are some things that you're gonna wanna buy before you start that don't come with it. 
Um, if you've got a scrap of plywood, then a scrap of plywood. The angle brackets, which are two and a half inch angle brackets, and I'm thinking you can get by with two inch angle brackets if you're doing the Soprano, because I had to cut them shorter or else they would be this tall. Um, and then a bunch of eyelets or hooks. So I'm just going to screw these hooks in all the way around so I've got something for my rubber bands to strap to. Okay, so I've got my hooks in here and I've got my extremely long elastic band here. I have it tied off to one of the hooks. Now what I want to do is I want to apply glue all the way around the edge. Make sure that it goes into all the little slots that I made. And then, I really wanted to get a lot of clamping force on here. So now we'll let that dry for a while. All right, so that's dried overnight. Look at that. <clears throat> okay, so here's something kind of strange about the instructions. It tells you to go ahead and glue the top on, but I can't get this on the body mold because it's got an overhang. So I'm going to trim this so that it'll fit in the body mold so that I can glue the top on. So here we go. I'm just going to use a chisel. I've got the bottom trim so that I can fit it back in my mold. I cut out my notches for my braces here, and I cut out the braces so that everything will fit nice and flush. So now I'm just going to glue the top on. I did the back, it didn't glue right here very well because I didn't have anything to clamp it on this side. So I'm going to add a hook for this one. There we go. Let her up.